Hi! If you are looking for a way to translate your JSON files, you are in the right place. So, start with creating an account in Simple Clients and then create a project. I created a project called Online Check-in. Next, we need to import our JSON file. So, I have here um, a file in JSON with English translations. You can see it here. It has nested translation keys, so it's a different structure, but SimpleClice will support all JSON files. So you can see the example here. Now we will import this file. So I choose the file format first. Um, it's single language JSON because it's only English in one file, but you can check how other file format looks like. So in multi-language JSON, you have uh, all languages in one file. So let's go back to single language. Here, let's choose English. Here, let's choose our file from here and start the upload. Okay, we can see the summary, so the translation keys and the translations, and let's start the import. Okay, so the translations are here. Now you can edit the translations, of course, but we want to add a new language. So we go to Languages tab, we add a new language, we'll add Spanish in here. Okay, and now you want to auto-translate it basically, to have it quickly translated and ready to add to your app. So there are multiple ways of doing that, but the quickest way is to simply hit up Start Auto-Translation in here. So we do that. We choose the translation service provider. So in this case, I will use Google Translate. The target language is Spanish. You can see some extra options in here and start translation. So it, it will take a few seconds or about one minute, depending on the quantity of your translations. You can see the progress uh, in here. During this time, you can actually go to translations. You can work on them and uh, uh, edit them, of course. So let's wait a minute. Okay, so the translations are ready. We can go back to translations tab and here you can see the translations. So all is translated. You can check. And that's how it works. You can now export the file back to JSON. So let's choose single language JSON also as nested translations to keep the same file structure. We can start export and download the file. Okay, here are the files. We have English translations, which is uh, basically the same file that we imported. And here we have Spanish translations translated with auto translation option with Google Translate. So that's how it works. I hope that this helps and you will be able to translate your JSON files um, faster and easier. Uh, okay, thank you. Bye-bye.